So let's pick up again this idea of solving logarithmic equations. And in this set of videos, they're going to be a little more complicated logarithmic equations. They'll all involve some kinds of condensing of logarithms, right? We're going to have to take a bunch of logs like you have in this example. Okay, I've got two logs on the left. We're going to have to smush those down to be single logarithms. Uh, we're going to have to do factoring in these things. Maybe the polynomial uh, inside the argument will be factorable. Uh, and oftentimes you'll run into extraneous solutions. Maybe not in this first one. I'm keeping it simple here. But we'll get into solutions that don't always work out when you check them against the original equation. So let's take a look at this first equation. And we can solve this. We can solve this two different ways, two major ways. One, you could use logarithmic equality. And the second way you could do is converting it to an exponential equation. And you'll see they, in this case, turn out to be very similar. I'm just going to go ahead and condense these two logarithms on the left. See, they have the same base. It's both a log base 5. So I can turn this into 5 plus 15 divided by 4 phi. Okay, and on the right, I'm not changing anything for now. I'm just going to leave that log base 5 of 5 cubed. Okay, and remember, this is the quotient rule. If you need to look up how the quotient rule works, this might be a good time. We'll be using it a lot. And now, since there's an equal logarithm on both sides, right, it's it's log base 5 on each of these things. I can actually cancel those out. So what I get after doing that is this simpler equation, 5 plus 15 over 4 phi equals 5 cubed. Now, before I run ahead with the solution to this, let's just set this to the side and imagine an, uh, an alternative way we could have solved this. I'm just going to set this guy over. No, nope. I'm going to set this guy over here. And let's take a look at that alternate solution. Imagine you're back here and say we don't want to do logarithmic equality. Let's say instead we notice that log base 5 of 5 cubed, this guy on the right, let's say we notice that that is just equal to 3. Okay, And that's just the general rule that the log base b of b to the c equals c. That's a general rule you can use for all logarithms. So we've noticed that that is 3, and that's nice. Then we say we say log base 5 of this whole mess right here, 5 plus 15 divided by 4 phi equals 3. Well, now you would convert it to exponential form. Okay, and just walk through how you do that. You say 5 to the 3 equals the argument. So in this case, it's going to be 5 cubed, 5 to the 3 equals the argument. 5 plus 15 over 4 phi. And you can see this is exactly what I have over here, right? That's that's this guy, which we don't need anymore. So here we are at 5 cubed equals 5 plus 15 over 4 phi. And the way you solve this is you just, first of all, we need to get rid of fractions, right? 5 cubed is 125. I'm going to multiply each side by this 4 phi. Okay, and so we get 125 times 4 phi equals 5 plus 15. And now we're going to say, well, what's 125 times 4? That's 500 phi equals 5 plus 15. Subtract 1 phi from each side, we get 499 phi equals 15. If this phi is annoying anybody, this guy, remember, it's just a variable. If you want, you could always rewrite these things as x or uh, wh whatever your preference is. Um, and then phi equals 15 over 499. So that's going to be our solution to this equation.